Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Via Satoshi. I'm your host and today is the 10th of November 2021. So, everyone who is hodling Bitcoin, everyone who is hodling Ethereum and uh, other cryptocurrencies, um, all congratulations, hitting all-time highs. And uh, before we get into the video today, please subscribe to my channel and also like the videos and also share if you can because I just want to remind you soon as I hitting 100 subscribers I'm giving away $100 worth of Bitcoin right so what's going on 10 days into the month and uh, Bitcoin is hitting $70,000. So probably seems like uh, in end of the 19 days, as I predicted um, in the past video, are we going to hit $100,000? Uh, it's end of the $30,000. So probably around, um, what, around uh, 20%? Yeah. Um, so a bit more than 20%, I think it's around 30%. Right. So uh, what's going on with the markets? Um, I think the inflation figures came out uh, from US, the labor market, and uh, you know, no surprise, it is um, it is increasing faster than thirty years ago. So it's a record high level in the last thirty years. So thirty years means like the people who were born in the the nineties kids haven't seen that. So it, it this is like since nineteen ninety one, the inflation is growing faster. And um, since 1991, we had um, the dot-com bubble and we had internet and we had computing taking over everything. So, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty long time ago. So uh, how is the market looking like? Uh, on the top, um, except uh, for Cardano, which actually has lost around 33% of its value, the other permanent members... Um, such as uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Binance uh, Coin, and uh, Solana, um, they're all st you know staying stable, uh, but you know Cardano is still around twenty to thirty percent down. That's how the market's looking like. So already seventy thousand dollar Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin, and um, almost four thousand dollars Ethereum. You know, yes, slowly uh, getting there. Um, how is the markets going up like this? You know, is it um, FOMO or is it just like going up in straight line? Is it going to crash again? Um, but, you know, as always, this is not financial advice, but I just want to let you know, uh, guys who are listening to my videos, um, this is not even proper up yet. You know, this is this is not FOMO time yet, because if you see all the on-chain analysis, uh, what it's showing is that, um, you know, the Google searches for... Bitcoin popularity is not as high as it was when Bitcoin hits its peak in May, the last peak, $63,000. So that's not that. I think it seems like the inflation fundamental figures um, after the halving in 2020, uh, it's kind of coming into effect now. So Bitcoin's price is kind of um, staying uh, where it should be rather than the retailers pumping the money up because at the moment the retail investors like people like you and me the average joe who is uh, not investing billions who is investing into like coins like shiba and um, doge coin and the meme coins and the other old coins i'd say where the institutions accumulating bitcoin and ethereum and just be aware of the the flash crashes. You know, those crashes happens uh, like Bitcoin gains like 10,000, uh, you know, dollars in, in a day. Sometimes Bitcoin crashes like $10,000 in minutes. This is the whale manipulation. So at the moment, the people who are buying are just like buying off this whale manipulation. And the whale manipulation is having lesser and lesser effect on the market at the moment. Because, you know, they usually dump it and the prices go down, people get liquidated and then they buy it lower and they just keep doing that just to accumulate more Bitcoin. Just be aware of that. And also, um, when you're doing limit orders, uh, just be careful with, um, you know, where you're setting your limit orders because sometimes the limit orders won't get filled or you can actually set limit orders in certain places. So, for example... Uh, if you wanted to buy Bitcoin at uh, $60,000 um, and, you know, 
uh, you think that it won't go to sixty thousand um, dollars. Just set limit orders around sixty two thousand dollars, sixty one thousand, sixty thousand. So that way, it get filled uh, when the price goes down, um, and you can also set below sixty as well. So if it goes down below that, um, you know you can. Uh, uh, fill that order as well so this is uh, the few tips from me today for investing and again this is not investment advice or financial advice just uh, my opinion good luck investing and everyone who is hodling uh, congratulations again and as always please hit subscribe and also like my videos and leave your comments below and until i'll meet you in the next video have a lovely time and please don't fall for scams Bye-bye.